Hey guys, thanks for joining us today. Mike here at Weeby Autos. Today we have a gorgeous, over the top, 1957 Chevy Bel Air. Got the owner here of many, many years. Gonna tell us a little bit about it. How are you oh. doing today? Oh, good, good. Cool. Okay, I've had it for 19 years. Wow. Um, off and on, I've been working on it. Finally got it done. Paint job was just finished about yeah, a year and a half, two years ago. All the chrome is original except for the front and rear bumper. All the chrome has been re-chromed. Uh, it's got disc brakes all the way around. It's got a Ford 9 inch in it. Uh, the underside of the car is painted just like the top. It's polished also. Uh, has air conditioning, power windows, power disc brakes, 383 stroke motor, turbo 400 transmission, aluminum drive shaft, and the car probably has 150 miles on it since it was finished. <laughs> it took you almost 19 years yeah, to build it. I did other cars in between. Good Lord, it is but... gorgeous, guys. I can't escape the reflection on this car. The chrome, the stainless, the fitment of the panels, just everything Mike did, man, is just over the top. You could buy it today and take it to a car show tomorrow. Win first when place. Sunday, got a first place right <laughs> off the bat. See the blue sticker on there? That's the one he did on Sunday. Yeah. Yeah, you haven't really had it on the road that long. You accumulated yeah. some trophies already. Yeah, you know, that was a couple of little, little old one. I was just finished with it. And then, mm -hmm. like I said, polished it and everything else. And it's so pretty. Got a little bit newer trophy. Oh, this one here, the flower field one, right? That's, the, that's the second one. Oh, God. The second one is uh, the new one. That's from Sunday. Oh, All cool. the rest of them are from back a little further. Wow. The but, uh, body is uh, so gorgeous. How'd you get the paint to look like this? A lot of uh, clay bar was the cleaning and then shine, polishing and then waxing this weekend. Saturday took me all day. Yeah. But actually it didn't even have to clean up that much. The way he painted it, it just laid right on there. Mm -hmm. No mud, all lead too, huh? Yeah, no, they did lead on the back when they had to do the seam. And all the stuff to mock up, turking it apart, putting it together again. The fenders are the original fenders. Yeah. The doors, the original doors, because when I put on aftermarket fenders, yeah, I didn't like the way the, way the well fit. wasn't really perfectly round. Yeah, I took them off and had them fix the original fenders. So basically, all painted. the panels are original. Wow. Then they've been off and on several times for fitment and yeah. stuff, right? Yeah. Oh, without a doubt. Jeez. Even that strip in the back, of course, the bumper. That's, I mean, of course, the. That's a nice piece. I've yeah. never seen that one before. But yeah, that's, that's an only, back that then. only comes on 57, and that's original. I got that from a guy that had a, a 57 convertible. Hmm. That the car looked as good as mine, and he was redoing it again. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> so I thought he was nuts, but I took that piece and. Beautifully finished trunk. Put it on my car. Yeah, that's pretty. It's the first time I've seen it. I've seen it in pictures, but I've never seen it actually on a car. And if you don't like the gold trim in the back and the front, you could put on the uh, yeah the regular silver. You know those are two 2018 uh, chrome Camaro, exhaust tips right? from a Camaro, That's great. which I liked. Cool. Boost uh, wheels are killer. Brand new tires. It's new, new, new all the way around. Those tires have got 126 miles of boost <laughs> wheels, and it's, that's all I drove it was when I uh, started driving it this past couple of weeks now again. Yeah. Beautiful. God. Like I said, it's time to move on and so build something else. Check that under the hood. Let's see. Hope it doesn't take you another 19 years to build the next one. No, that's that face <laughs> car I'm working with. Oh yeah. Oh, the Z11. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Cool. So this is a 383 that. stroker, aluminum heads, uh, Anderson uh, exhaust manifolds, which they don't have headers on. Oh, I like those. Exhaust. Those are beautiful. With regular exhaust, three inch going to the back. Uh, Catch can. Power brakes, yep, air, air booster for the brakes. Serpentine systems, fantastic. Large setup on it. Yeah, more systems, not cheap. No. Power steering, power it's brakes, on, air. air. Like I said, the. Uh, Monster radiator. Yep. You got a 650 double pumper on there? I think there's a 600. I don't want to go that big because I want to drive it. Mm -hmm. You know, the gas tank in these things aren't huge. So I'd like to get a little bit of mileage out of it. Sure. Vintage air in here? The what? The vintage air setup? Yeah. 
billet uh, hinges. Those are not cheap. Yeah, those hinges is five hundred bucks right there. Of money, yep. Yeah. Man, gorgeous. The frame, the A arms, the floors are exactly the same as the top. Yep. I noticed these pieces here too, yeah. and this one here. That's a custom piece, right? Yeah, I had that made up so that it would fit around the, uh, the radiator hose. That's what he did. He made that. He fixed that. Just to fill that piece that just for me. Cut it, welded it, and made it fit perfect. Freaking gorgeous. And even these pieces here too. Yep. Yep. You know, it's the little things that make a quality well, car. I think. Yeah. You know? Yes, indeed. Anyone could build one, is it? But is it built right? Yep. This car is just a lot of work went into it. Top. A lot of money and time and effort and like I said, there's not a lot to do to it. You can get to clean it once in a while and take it to a car show. That's it. So tell me about uh, the interior. Brand new. Original original seats just recovered. Okay. Um I so like a wheel. The, yeah. Is that how I did it? Which um, on, on what? On what? Tilt oh wheel. tilt yeah. I did it. Yeah. Power windows. Power Man, check windows. out how fast these windows goes up. Oh. That's the, over the other side, the other side there. Check that, that is like, wham! Yeah, that's quick. Windows down in a hurry. Stereo is the retro stereo, AM, FM. Vintage sound with aux in. Wheels shortened up a little, right? The what? The steering wheel? Yeah, that's a 15 inch. 15. The original one was 18, and uh, you know what happens with an 18 inch, it'll uh, be on your lap. Yeah, so. And with steering and everything else, you don't really need yeah, it. Yeah, so that's uh, the tilt wheel. Cool. Electric wipers, I see. Yes, it's got a custom underneath the dash wiper system, and they work. Man, tell me about this pod gauge you got here, this cluster. That is yeah, cool. Yeah, that is unbelievable. Just replaced the speaker, right? Yeah, it took me a long time yeah, to find that. That, is that like was like one of my best items I was looking for for the car. I've never seen that before. Yeah, and the gauges and everything work. Cigarette lighter works if you like the smoke. <laughs> cool. Even the clock. The clock working. even works probably at the right time. It's almost two o'clock, right? Yeah. Quarter to two. Yeah. Yeah. Pulse time. So pretty. Good lord. Yep. Even got the billet uh, gas pedal. Yeah. Yeah. Turbo 400 trans. Turbo 400 shift kit. Stall speed. No, Just wall, straight up. Yeah. I don't want to. You know. You want to be able to drive the car. Yeah. You want to beat on the car. If it's not really. Uh, you know, it's made more for mm -hmm. people who want to Cruising. drive Saturday night, go to car shows. You know, that's yeah. Sometimes when you overbuild them with a hot I could motor, build hot rod cars run, if yeah. I wanted to do that. You know, they run hot and everything else. Yep. This is nice. Can you fire it up? Sure. Certainly. You got the keys, or I got the keys? Uh, I got the keys. Love the silver and black interior. This complements the black really nicely. That's a three inch exhaust, I hear that. Again, my name is Mike from Weeby Autos. Feel free to give me a shout. I'm at 631-339-0399. You can also check out more pictures, information, and detail on our main website. It's WeebyAutos.com. And uh, thanks again for showing the car. It is fantastic. Thank you, Mike.